multiply this binomial with this trinomial is we take this x term in the binomial and we distribute it through the parentheses, through the parentheses around the trinomial. Then what we do, we take all those terms, we add them up. Then what we do is we take the negative 2 and we distribute that through the trinomial as well. Multiply all those terms together, add all six of those terms that you're going to get up, combine like terms, and then you're finished. So, so let's give this a shot. So first, uh, I'd like to uh, distribute the x through the parentheses. Well, first I'm going to try to erase all these arrows that I drew on here because they look bad. All right. First, we want to uh, distribute this x through the parentheses. So we're taking the x times the x squared. We're taking the x times the 5x. And we're taking x times 1. Hmm. There we go. Then, all on the same line, I'm going to run out of room, of course, but uh, all on the same line, you can distribute the negative 2 through the trinomial as well. So negative 2 times x squared. Negative 2 times 5x. And negative 2 times 1. So we distributed every term in our binomial with every term in the trinomial. Now we have a bunch of terms to deal with. Um, at this point, it's not too hard. We just have to do some multiplication and combine any like terms. So let's see what happens. x times x squared is just x cubed. x times 5x is going to be 5x squared. x times 1 is just going to be x. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. And negative 2 times 1, negative 2. Now we combine like terms. It looks like we have a couple of them. Those x squared terms are like terms. We also have two terms that have just an x on them. Those are like terms as well. The x cubed term is by itself. The negative 2, the constant term, is also by itself. <coughs> but we need to combine those underlying like terms. Uh, the x cubed is just going to stay. Apparently I'm having technical difficulties with this thing. There we go. Uh, the x cubed is just going to stay. The 5x squared, we need to combine with the negative 2x squared. We look at the coefficients to do that. 5 minus 2 is 3, so we're going to have 3x squared. The x and the negative 10x are also like terms. We look at the coefficients to combine. There's a 1 in front of the x term. 1 minus 10 is negative 9, so we're going to have a negative 9x. The only term we have left, don't forget about it, is that negative 2 right there. And this is our answer. When we multiplied this binomial with this trinomial, the answer that we end up with is in the box there. Um, now we're not going to go backwards on this type of a problem. This is, this is a little bit more difficult. Um, it's, it's hard to go from the equation in the box to the binomial times the trinomial. So we're not going to do that kind of factor. Uh, but why don't you try one on your own? Uh, why don't you try to multiply these two terms? I'm going to throw in a, a coefficient in front of an x this time. 2x minus 3 times x squared minus 4x uh, plus 1. Try to multiply. Uh, this binomial and this trinomial out, combine like terms, and see what polynomial you get as your, as your answer. <clears throat> All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, what we need to do is distribute the 2x through this trinomial, and we need to distribute the negative 3 through this trinomial. So the first step is multiplying the 2x by the x squared. Then we multiply the 2x times the negative 4x. We're 
we're multiplying the 2x and the negative 4x, so I'll put parentheses around the negative sign of 4x. Uh, and then we multiply the 2x times the 1 in the trinomial. Then we have to distribute the negative 3 through the parentheses as well. We multiply the 3, the negative 3, I'm sorry, times the x squared. I'm going to write it down here. I'm running out of room here. We multiply the negative 3 uh, times the negative 4x. And when you multiply a negative and a negative, you know you're just going to get a positive number. Uh, so I'm going to write it like this. And then you distribute the negative 3 to the uh, positive 1. So you get a negative 3 times 1. <coughs> OK, so now we have a bunch of terms. We need to multiply those terms out and then combine any like terms that there are. So let's see, 2x times x squared. Just adding powers, this is 2x cubed. 2x times negative 4x. It's going to be negative 8 as your constant, and then the x times x is going to give you an x squared. 2x times 1, of course, is just 2x. 3 times x squared is just 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 4x, so 3 times the 4 is going to give you a 12. You're multiplying two negative numbers, so it's positive. And then what you're left with is just an x. And then negative 3 times 1 is just a negative. So there you go. There's a pretty big poly polynomial for you. And uh, you need to try to simplify it a little bit by combining like terms. You notice there are two terms that have x squared on them. These are like terms that can be combined. There are also two terms that have an x on them. Again, like terms that can be combined. The 2x cubed is by itself, so I'm just going to copy it down. That's not going to change. The negative 8x squared and the negative 3x squared, you look at the, co the uh, coefficients to combine these two like terms. Negative 8 minus negative, uh, I'm sorry, negative 8 minus 3 is a negative 11. So you get a negative 11x squared. Combine the 2x and the 12x, 2 plus 12 is 14, so you get plus 14x. The only term left is a minus 3. And that's your answer. Nice job. That's everything we need to talk about with multiplying polynomials. In the next video, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to factor polynomials. I'll see you there. We'll have lots of fun.